سو بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم احمد وصلی علی رسول الکریم اما بعد had the Quran not talked about the people of Lut alayhi salatu wasalam, I probably would have not had the courage to talk about the gross type of information I'm going to talk about. And if you're a child, I suggest you don't listen to what I'm going to talk about and please don't listen to anything further. But it is important to talk about this because it is important for Muslims to understand the hikmah number one the reasoning and the wisdom that the quran talks about the people of lut alayhi salatu wasalam and number two when you read the story of lut alayhi salatu wasalam in the quran you get a feeling of militancy like these people are like enraged they're angry they're in intolerant right these these angels who came in the form of human beings they can't wait to get their hands on them, on these nice, beautiful-looking angels. And so, you ha- have this, you know, and they want to kill him, and they want to throw him out of the city, and they use this offensive language towards him, even though he's being very nice to them. So, today I'm going to shed some light about this satanic agenda, that maybe somebody in the Muslim world will also become aware of the ugliness, the actual ugliness, the actual deep, deep ugliness. Because people think that the actions of Qom al have to do with adult to adult. Whereas they don't realize it actually has to do with adult to children. Okay, I'm going to share with you some stuff that's really ugly and gross and makes a person of fitra want to throw up. Okay, and if I don't talk too much about it, I'm going to leave the link and you can read the journal yourself that talks about some of these issues. And there are many, there's so much to do research on this topic that, uh, but if you have the, the audacity and the guts to uh, deal with this ugliness and evilness, and it's the only way I can explain it, okay. One of the things that's happening, so let me start with this point. One of the things that is happening in the world today that many Muslims do not know, okay, is that who is fighting for lowering the age of consent in the world? It is the gay and lesbian movement, okay? The gay and lesbian movement is fighting to lower the consent of age, the age of consent. Lower age of consent, says gay rights campaigner. Now, can somebody think of a reason why a gay rights person is interested in lowering the consent, age of consent? Gay people have successfully lowered the age of consent in Hawaii to the age of 14. It was gay people that did this in Hawaii. So now, can you tell me why lower age of consent declaration has support of LGBT groups. The lower age of consent declaration has support of LGBT groups. Okay. And so uh, a global LGBT group has thrown its support behind a statement calling for the ages of consent to be lowered around the world to allow adolescents to engage in sexual activity freely without stigma. Meaning, don't stigmatize men and women having children with sex with children okay this is them saying it from their perspective islam has its own perspective but when children get molested they are of an age before puberty so a declaration by the un's women's right caucus called on governments and all levels as well as judiciary non-governmental organizations the media and businesses to promote a range of extreme policies in sexual radical gender ideology and abortion including statements on lowering age of consent the broad statement was promoted by the international lesbian gay bisexual trans intersex association ilga okay uh a group which claims to represent more than 1600 organizations worldwide okay adolescent sexuality 
the Declaration advocates the elimination of all laws and policies that limit the exercise of bodily autonomy, including laws limiting legal capacity of adolescents to provide consent to sex. Okay, so this is what's happening in the world. Uh, these people that believe in same sex and believe in the actions of the people of Lut alayhi salatu wasalam, they want to lower the age of consent because this is the truth now that little boys look beautiful to them little boys look beautiful to them little bu boys look delicate and feminine to them i'm not i'm just talking about this one ugly aspect that is absolutely true and i'm going to leave uh, a link to this journal that talks about this in detail that hopefully inshallah will not make you throw up okay but this is happening and the muslim countries are being also pushed the same agenda the same agenda is being pushed worldwide including muslim countries and they are what advocating the gays within the muslim community to promote this more and more in this journal the gay male journal there's an article gay sex of age consent so gays should have a special age of consent how young is too young and this i can't even go into this ugly article okay just forget about it we all know about the scandal of pedophilia in the churches already that's already well known Boy Scouts of America have a pedophilia epidemic, which means boys, adult men having a relationship with the young boys in the Boy Scouts group, okay, are hiding hundreds of its ranks, lawyer claims. Boy Scouts of America having pedophilia epidemic, right? And so they want to reduce because the older homosexuals are attracted to the younger homosexuals, meaning children. And that is a fact. So there's an organization in the U.S. called NEBLA, and they're throughout the world. Germany especially has some big ones, North American Man-Boy Love Association, okay? And what do they want to do? They want to abolish the age of consent laws. This is being actively being worked on right now, okay? And uh, you, you can bet on it, okay? You can bet on it, what? That they're pushing the same thing in the Muslim countries because either uh, associated individual okay so um, anyway I'll just leave it at this okay so there is this North American Boy Love Association and there are other uh, hundreds of other organizations and their goal is to remove the age of consent so and they have articles about how it doesn't hurt uh, it doesn't hurt children in any way psychologically or physically to have uh, intimacy with little children they, they have this in their gay journals and stuff in medical journals even. this is the organization the north american man boy love is so list of pedophile advocacy organizations okay in each country this is their names and you can go to their websites if you want but I certainly don't want to spend my time doing that. Many of these types of articles that says pedophile and sexual abuse are two different things. Confusing the children is harmful to them, they say. And one epidemic, astaghfirullah, they have is the massive age difference between the couples, the gay couples. Okay? The gay couples, they have massive age differences between them more and more. What is the psychology between young gay men dating older gay men? Okay. And some gay older men date younger partners, but the reasons are more complex than you think. Right. And, uh, oh, this is a website in which they do prostitution and, you know, they can, anyway, you get the idea. Stuff. So I'm going to read the first sentence of every page. Uh, also to teach some of my students how I sometimes will read information. The first sentence of every paragraph is called a topic sentence. So if you want to just get a gist, this is a fast and a good and effective way of reading uh, quickly a lot. 
so I'm going to just uh, do this. And yet the destructive impact of homosexuality has upon Western civilization is really rarely discussed by columnists, reporters, religious leaders, politicians, or by anyone else for that matter. Okay, next. Indeed, on the homosexual issue, conservatives seem divided between live and let live attitude and one that concludes the homosexual agenda, agenda will have to be curtailed if the Judeo Christian culture is to survive. It is difficult to convey the dark side of homosexual culture without appearing harsh. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, the truth is stranger than fiction. Okay. This trend comes at the expense of our children's safety. Okay. Uh, they're talking about the organization called Glass. Uh, Glass's own website should have been warning enough. Glass believes that some children are born gay. Okay. And therefore, they should not be stopped from those relationships, uh, even at that age. Uh, it came as no surprise that the California Department of Social Services found on numerous occasions, uh, on uh, numerous occasions beginning at, uh, beginning at least as early as 1994, adults affiliated with GLASS including staff members, members of GLASS board of directors, and volunteers sexually abused or molested children who were placed with GLASS, okay? Department of Social Ser Services. Uh, basically, uh, GLASS is an organization that wants to give uh, abused children a home, and you end up with the ones who take care of them are also abusing them. And most people that get abused, or a large per percentage of those people that get abused, end up with that lifestyle itself. Okay. So one would think that the molest, um, the molestation factory disguised as a group home would be a good reason, for, a good reason for the state of California to shut down the whole glass group home operation. Just stay with me here for a second. The Los Angeles Times investigation found that in some cases, it appears authorities have fully investigated those reports. Homosexuals are targeting not just youth group homes, but all groups that work with youth, like, for example, the Boy Scouts. Okay. Uh, gay activists have spun the scout molestation epidemic as a heterosexual problem. I Meaning they want to make it like, oh, these were married men and they were not really homosexual. No, they were that. Incredibly, a pro-pedophile group, North American Boy Love Association, which calls itself hetero a homosexual group, wrote a letter to the National Scout Office urging the Boy Scouts of America to seize its discrimination against openly gay or lesbian persons in the appointment of its scout masters and scouters and in its membership. Okay. Using twisted logic, pro-gay academics argue in various social science journals that molestation of boys is not a gay lifestyle issue and that such men are not really homosexuals. On the other hand, homosexuals probably claim that the molestation of boys is not part of the homosexual lifestyle. On the other hand, they quite is quietly establishing the legal parameters exempting the molestation of boys from persecution in anti-discrimination grounds. For example, in Nevada, a 42-year-old man was arrested for molesting a 16-year-old boy, but was not charged by the district attorney. The reason given was to do so would discriminate against a class of people. Okay? So this is the type of things that is happening. Research on homosexual lifestyle confirms it is almost exclusively a youth oriented culture and this is what they're not telling you which the quran tells you okay moreover most pedophiles consider themselves to be gay in 1988 study published in the archives of sexual behavior 86 percent of pedophiles described themselves as homosexual or bisexual children prostitution expert dr jennifer james reports that a number of boys prostitutes who identify themselves as homosexuals has risen from 10% to 60% over the last 15 years. Most of the public is now aware of Nebla, the boy uh, relationship between adult boy, you know, love, uh, a group that openly promotes sex with minor boys and claims that boy lovers respond to the needs of boys they love. The reality is that Nebla not only describes itself as part of the gay rights coalition, but its literature states that one of the goals is cooperating with gay, lesbian, and other movements for sexual liberation. Okay, so the most comprehensive gay networking website, the Queer Resource Directory, and 
uh, qrd.org links every gay group in the country, including Nebla and other homosexual groups that focus on youth, okay, on people that are ultimately less than puberty, okay. Leading mainstream homosexual newspapers and magazines such as The Advocate, Edge, and Metroline, The Guide, and the San Francisco Centennial have not only published pro-Nebla articles and columns, but have also editorialized in favor of adult boy relationships and sex with children. The editor of The Guide, Ed Hogan, stated in an interview, uh, I believe that Nebla are generally interested in the right of young people to be sexual. I'm glad there's a group like Nebla that is willing to be courageous. There's also a matter of Nebla's membership status in the International Gay Lesbian Association, ILGA, recognized uh, at one time by the United Nations as the official non-government organization representing gay community worldwide. However, the media failed to report the NILGA itself has hosted workshops on pedophilia. M past resolutions in 1985, 1988, 1990, 1990 to abolish the age of consent laws claiming same-sex age of consent laws often operate to oppress and not to protect. Uh, the, okay. Eventually reacting to congressional legislation threatening reduction of one, uh, 119 million in financial support, United Nations kicked out ILGA in 1995 for refusing to sever ties with a half a dozen mem groups that advocated pedophilia. And then people praised them uh, for being courageous and so on and so forth. Uh, indeed, the Journal of Homosexuality is a premier academic journal of the mainstream homosexual world, yet it has published a special double edition entitled Male Intergenerational Intimacy. Okay, one is... 20, uh, yeah, very young and then the others like a grandfather containing dozens of articles portraying sex between men and minor boy as loving relationships similarly mainstream gay publications may no, make no effort to hide their pro pedophilia views and i'm going to put a link for this so you can read the whole article if you want uh while the mainstream media apparently refused to engage in any kind of investigative uh, to expose this gay movement's aspect okay in a letter uh, okay, we'll just skip this. In, in 1995, content analysis by Dr. Judith uh, for the Institute of Media Education focusing on advertisements in the nation's most influential homosexual newspapers, The Advocate reveals that 63% of the personal ads sought for offered prostitution. So this is very common in their journals and in their magazines, uh, prostitution. They even have these boy dolls that they sell, penetratable boy dolls available in different positions, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. The owner of the prominent Philadelphia gay bookstore, okay, uh, pulled, uh, uh, you know, but uh, the, all these books are being published that, uh, r reveal, uh, you know, um, the, uh, r boy and adult man relationship, okay? For example, uh, a boy loves some boys for a lost soldier. All these books can be described as pro pedophile okay? And they're uh, published by this group called Allison Publications, one of the largest, nation's largest publication publishers of homosexual literature and books. Allison Publications also publish, publishes pro pedophile books such as uh, Gay Sex, a manual for men who love men. This book contains detailed instructions for homosexuals how to avoid discovery and arrest when having sex with boys. Okay, Avoid situations, and this is quoting the uh, their journal, avoid situations where a number of men are having sex with same boy or group of boys over a period of time. Unknown to most people, Allison Publication, also probably America's largest provider of pro-gray literature, and reading material to public schools. Unfortunately, this market is growing at a tremendous pace. Okay. Uh, the infamous Heather has two mommies currently being used in many public school systems to educate children about homosexuality is an Alice in published, uh, published book. Mainstream homosexual conferences commonly feature speeches, features about intergenerational sex, as it is now called. Okay. Uh, 
pick up the gay, uh, any gay newspaper or gay traveling publication and finds ads for sex tours to Burma, Philippines, Sri Lanka, Thailand, and other countries infamous for boy prostitution. Okay. The uh, and, and it goes, uh, the government of Sri Lanka announced that more than 10,000 boy prostitutions work at its beaches as a result of high demand created by affluent Western homosexuals. Okay. Homosexual internet sites are no different. It, and of course you can imagine what happened. The holy grail of pedophile movement is the lowering and elimination of all age of law of consent of age. Okay. That's their big thing. It is homosexual activists within the United Nations who are lobbying to give sexual rights to underage children. In England, again, England, the campaign is now being led by, by Outrage and Stonewall, both homosexual organizations. So one organization is called Out, uh, Outrage, the other called Stonewall. Okay. The Dutch Homosexual Group Association for the Inter, uh, in, integration of homosexuality has succeeded in lowering the age of legal sex to 12 in Holland. Okay. The liberation of pedophilia must be viewed as a gay issue. The liberation, so this is in their article, the liberation of pedophilia must be viewed as a gay issue and that age of consent should be therefore abolished by acknowledging the affinity between homosexuality and pedophilia. Okay. Uh, and then it talks about other places. Uh, in 1985, Psychological Reports article found that homosexuals account for between 25 to 40 percent of all child molestation, even though they're less than 1 percent, 2 percent of the society. However, it should be noted that homosexuals account for only 2 percent of the population, which statistically means that a child molester is 10 times to 20 times more likely to be homosexual than heterosexual. In other words, heterosexual molestations proportionally are a fraction compared to homosexual molestations. More recent studies confirm the statistics. In year 2000, archives of, archives of sexual behavior published in an article by seven sex researchers conducting around 25 to 40 percent of men attracted to children prefer boys. Thus, the rate of homosexual attraction is 6 to 20, 20 times 6 to 20 times higher among pedoph pedophiles. And it goes on and on about all these uh, journals and what they've published. In 1992, study published the Journal of Sex and Marital Therapy. Sex researchers K. Freud and Watson found that homosexual males are three times more likely than straight men to engage in pedophilia, and the average pedophile victims was between uh, 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 victimizes 20 and 150 boys were being arrested. Okay. Uh, and then there's a whole discussion of what is now psychiat is in, in psychiatric circles due to the influence of homosexual psychiatrists within the American Psychiatry Association. What is now being considered, okay, normal? Okay, the new definition defines sex with children as a psychological disorder only if it causes clinically significant distress. If, it, if you have sex with a minor and it doesn't cause clinical distress, uh, then it's okay. The American Psychological Association appears to have similar sympathies when it published a sloppy and air-filled article in the Psychological Bulletin of uh, 1998 arguing that there is no research documenting sexual children that sexual child abuse is harmful to children and that a willing encounter with positive reactions could be uh, labeled simply adult child sex okay and they want to talk about the prophet and his uh indeed the response instead of has been an escalating effort by homosexual community to compromise every major youth group possible to inundate so, you know, if you're sending your children to these places where there's a lot of boys and boy scouts and boy clubs, be careful of homosexuals there because this is how they're penetrating. The YMCA, the Girl Scout, the Big Brothers, despite being plagued by molestation incidences, all have uh, capitulated to the homosexual pressure campaigns. Okay. Moreover, the liberal media omits any mention of persons' homosexuality in covering molestation stories. Okay. Uh, and, uh, you know, they write, uh, for example, this website, a criminal sexual orientation is not always obvious or relevant based simply on circumstances of the crime as a rule. So it's not relevant if they're homosexual or not. 
in trying to trying to understand this whole phenomenon and this gross epidemic that's going on. Okay, and so it is high time that America's elected officials, health authorities, education leaders, laws enforcement act uh, not only to tell the harsh truth that hom the homosexual community is targeted America's youth, but act now to counter the horrible trend. Okay, so this is the article. I will leave a link to it, but this is the reality the Quran pointed to uh, when the Quran was being revealed to the Prophet وسلم, that type of gross violent uh, uh, you can say militant attitude that they have and with the militant attitude that they're growing and trying to change things and change society to their liking may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect the Muslim world and I shared this because uh, I want it's important that Muslim parents be aware of this, this ugliness, how ugly it is. And over here, I want to say those Muslim scholars who sit with these gays and these the donkey, the, the Democratic Party, that they, when they're giving people the mixed messages, okay, you're you're not okay, you're not okay with this lifestyle, but it's like live, let live, and. Uh, it's like, and to some people it's a green light, and to some people it's mixed messages, and it's, you're confusing, and you're, you're letting America, if you're in America, or wherever you are, you're letting the people of that nation go on the wrong way, instead of telling them that this is not right, what's happening. And there is, there needs to be understanding after the Circus 19, and all these fake science stuff, where now your gender is no longer scientifically based upon your your chromosomes and your DNA, science has been undermined completely to these uh, evil uh, I, uh, agendas. Okay, and so uh, it's very important that Muslims be aware of this and understand the ugliness. And this is the you can say you know if there was political corruption it was Pharaoh, and if there was economic corruption it was Salih alayhi and if there's moral corruption it's the people of Lut alayhi and we're just literally pushing our children into this moral corruption and many times without knowing it. But it's it's high time that we understand how ugly this world is about to get. And so if you don't have a jama'ah and you don't have a society within a society and you don't have your own bubble where you're living in your own life away from, from all the evil that's out there, if you don't create your own bubble, your own masjid, your own jama'ah, where you're just in that world of your own, uh, like the way you could say the the way the Amish are or the way others are. If you don't create your own bubble, you're going to be ending up in a very ugly, ugly place. Okay, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive.